Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2, where John and I are vlogging once again. We're, we're the vloggers, Art. <laughs> we never quit vlogging. Hey, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about uh, transferring our old 8 millimeter films to uh, digital, and yeah. we looked at a bunch of machines. Um, you actually bought one online. Tell me uh, how it worked. Are you happy with it? Uh, well, uh, it's interesting. Uh, uh, it's going to save us a lot of money because we know what it is. Just go to Legacy Box or Costco, any one of them. And when you start figuring out what a, a couple thousand feet of Super 8 and Regular 8 cost, uh, yeah. they'll do, I'm sure they'll do a good job, by the way. But it's labor intensive. And uh, the at the price point uh, of about 400 bucks that we paid, which is about the best you can buy in the amateur world, uh, yeah. it's nothing like the thousands, if not fives or tens of thousands of dollars that you would pay for professional grade equipment. And so I'll, let, I'll right. give you a little background of what I found so far. First yeah. of all, one thing that we knew, uh, but didn't, I now know because I've worked with it, I've, I've uh, ingested about, I'd say, nine, seven to nine reels, anywhere from seven inch down to three inch both Super oh, wow. 8 and Regular 8. And uh, even though you could probably get away without cleaning it, you actually have to clean it. You might as well clean the reels and find out where the splices, the old dried out splices are and fix right. them. Because otherwise right. they're going to jam in and cause you all sorts of heartache. So uh, if you're going to do it yourself, don't skip that step. I'm sure that there are you know, people making uh, uh, 15 bucks an hour or an owner in his back room doing this stuff with uh, isopropyl uh, alcohol, 99%, and a splicer and so on and so forth. Yeah. Uh, and also, you don't get the uh, hand crank uh, uh, to to wind and rewind the reels, which are good. Okay, so, so, so help me with this. You put the reel up. Thread it through the machine. No, 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 no. Before you get to that, you got to prep it. You got to clean it. You got to fix the splices before you ever right. put it okay. on the so machine. You, so you got to put it on another set of reels, is what you're saying. Correct. You, get, you can't use the machine to clean it and prep uh, it. By the way, those reels are very expensive if you bought it from somebody. Uh, luckily, yeah. we have a, 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 a sometime partner, a good friend of ours, Grace McKay, yeah. who uh, right. loaned us a, a set. Uh, but you put uh, a reel on one side and a take-up reel on the other one, and you connect it up, and as you get ready to crank it, you're holding... You crank them up and, and go through the, the... Clean it and crank it up. Then you got to crank it back. Right, but while you're cranking right. it, from time to time, you're going to find an old dried-out splice. And if it doesn't fall apart in your hands, sure. you better stop anyway and make sure it's a good, clean splice, because otherwise it's right. going to jam in the machine once you get yeah. that far. So anyway, yeah. so you have to clean each one, and it's not that big a deal, but it's like sitting down and doing it. So it could take 10 yeah. or 15 minutes for each reel. And then when you put it on, and uh, by the way, there's plenty of online help. Uh, you put it on the machine, and you thread it through, and then you have to make sure that the frame is right, and there's all sorts of little adjustments to make sure that the frame is, you right. can move it a little to the left, to the right, to the up, to the down. Sure. And you get that sure. started, and there are a couple of other adjustments, but in most cases, it works pretty well. And uh, the first couple of reels, I let them take a reel, take care of it. But I found that after a while, uh, especially with the big reels, it wasn't strong enough to really gather it that well. So I found yeah. out a wonderful solution, which was to let the stuff that's going out dump into a box, or in my case, a nice big... Uh, paper bag, like the kind you get at Trader Joe's, and then you rewind it on that same hand crank <laughs> later on offhand because yeah. it rewinds super slow if you use the machine. And so right. these are tricks and tips that everybody learned. But the bottom line is that all those memories come through. And uh, we got my my wedding. Uh, uh, Linda and I 
back in 66 and uh, somebody had taken a lot of film. I, I hadn't even seen it before. It was sitting in the yeah, box. I was going to say, you probably haven't seen it since 1966. Right. In fact, uh, just today, my uh, brother-in-law and uh, sister were over, uh, who had married about six or seven months before us. And uh, they enjoyed uh, the seven minutes of wedding and all of the relatives, yeah. many of whom are gone now. And we just had a wonderful reminisce. So it's all the time I've put in so far has more than paid for itself just in the joy of watching that. And we have pictures of my wife as a little girl and her brother and sister. That's and, and so, That's so my, my bottom line on all this, it's a lot more work. It's not, right. it's not just put it in, even if you clean it, it's not just put it in and walk away. You have to stay there because it doesn't stop if it jams. It just keeps going click, 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 click. Oh, click. so it keeps recording, but it's not recording anything because it film is jammed. Right. Well, it's recording a frame. So you so well, you sure, have to edit that. There. You're gonna have to edit that out later on because you could have thirty yeah. minutes of that same frame if you don't if you're not around. And then at the very end when it runs out, if you're lucky enough and just has captured everything clean, it does click 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 on just a white light. So right. uh, it doesn't know you, when to stop. It wouldn't stop. And so so and 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 some things said, but maybe it'll stop. Maybe it won't stop. Uh, right. I went out and I got a a, a a compressed air can of compressed air to help clean out the the gate that the film yeah. passed. So there, so besides just the the movie maker, uh, and by the way, it's by Wolverine, and uh, the no problem with the stuff that comes in. Okay, Wolverine is the brand name. Is the brand name, and we got the Movie Maker Pro, so we went upscale. Uh, okay. And uh, it's a good thing we bought the extended warranty from Amazon because apparently the war warranty runs out once you've done 200 files. And that's 200 files of reels of either 7-inch, 9-inch, or 3-inch, or three frames, and it stopped and it gave a new number. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. But we got the extended warranty from Amazon. So uh, if after 200, something goes wrong, we could just send it back to Amazon and they'll, they'll yeah. send us a new one. You're you're saying we because I'm I've agreed to share the price with you. Right. When you're finished with it, I'll borrow the machine, and uh, learn the lessons that you had to learn the hard way. I hope that you do because uh, your time uh, uh, is valuable in your uh, in your gardening and your 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 arbor, and uh, yeah. and I know yeah. that the chickens and goats would miss you. So I'm glad no that question. I'm able to to uh, uh, right. uh, be. I'm like your Lewis and Clark. I gave, yeah. you the, I gave you the map and the keys to the city. <laughs> so it's it, the bottom line for everybody else is that um, it's cheaper, significantly cheaper than taking it to Costco or one of these uh, online uh, film transfer services. Right. But you've got to spend a lot of time watching it, learning it, doing it, cleaning it, whatever it is. It's It's a... It's a time for money. Trade and not only that, uh, in addition to the machine, if you don't have a uh, a, a, a two reel uh, device that you can wind and unwind the film right. with, the re they call them rewinds. The uh, rewind. Yeah. Uh, then uh, you have to go and, get, and those are, could be one hundred fifty bucks if you can find them. I mean, you yeah. need a splicer if you don't already have a splicer. So uh, if you don't, yeah, sure. if, if you're not yeah. willing. Don't if you're not willing it. to commit the time to it, I'm sort of enjoying it because it's like for me a busman's holiday. Uh, I don't think of myself as Spielberg, who I know used to do yeah. that, or I don't know whether uh, my friend Jack Tucker, who did a lot of Halloween and Winds of War yeah. stuff, and he learned how to actually do film editing uh, on a, a, a 16 millimeter film with with a real reel to reel, and it was all done not in a uh, electronically, but it was done with film. My son, his first uh, uh, job out of uh, college after graduating from school was for an IMAX production company. And he used to help edit by cutting and storing and bringing back. Sure. So it's a little bit of that. So it's a, a change of pace. But yeah. if you don't really want to get into the weeds with this stuff and pay the extra money to get all the other things that you need around it, then send it, do it, you know what? Make up a schedule and say, I'm willing to spend a couple of hundred bucks every quarter and send that and see if you can prioritize the films you want and send them out. This is yeah. not for somebody who just thinks they're going to get away quick and dirty and cheap. Now, we didn't think right. that we were, 
but we knew that we had friends like Grace and others that would help yeah. us with some of the bits and pieces of this. Yeah. Yeah. But the, so but the it, stuff it, is just it's just so much fun uh, <laughs> to see some of the relatives, some who we really. Well, now there's there's one important caution for everybody, including you, Art. Yeah. And that is, after you get these films transferred to digital, and they're easy to play all the time, you have to have the discipline not to show them all the time to everybody. Oh no, I've I've solved that Remember for you. The old days? Remember the old days you'd go to somebody's house and they'd pull out the slideshow of their trip to Bermuda? Oh, no. Don't I do said, that. John, I've solved this for you. You're okay. going to go, if you don't already have your own private YouTube channel, and I have one yeah. from SoCal Showbiz, where I had, it's sort of like a private one. People can go there and see things, but these will all be unlisted. And I'm going to send out the links in the description and say, you want to watch it? Watch it. You don't want to yeah. watch it? Don't tell me about it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, send, and if you like it, send me a note that you liked it. And if you didn't, I don't care. So uh, <laughs> nobody's going to come around my living room and I'm going to put them in front of, you know, the 20, uh, uh, 35, 45. Actually, we just got a 45 inch screen in the other room. I'm not, that's not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> They're going to get a link to YouTube and they were on their own. I thought all those slide show parties were kind of fun, you know. Yeah, John. Open up a bottle of wine and. Break out the next carousel. Yeah, John, I think we're going to have to have a special person speak to you in the medical profession without the drugs. <laughs> anyway, Mark, thanks for the update. I appreciate it. Glad to know how this works. I hope everybody else appreciates your uh, your lessons. And I'll be looking forward to borrowing the machine yeah, you're uh, gonna to have start a, some of my reels. I, I know that uh, uh, you have a lot of family uh, uh, well, we know that Super 8 and, and Regular 8 is from a long time ago. You know, yeah. Uh, it goes back to, I'll tell you, it goes back to 1940, the yeah. film that I have. Yeah, some of the films that uh, we have, uh, some I think we have one or two in the late 40s, and a lot of them walked 1953, 1954. Yeah. And sure. uh, I guess uh, it was a, probably up until the 60s when that went away, started going right. away. But in any right. event, if you have them, uh, first of all, if you don't, Take care of it soon, whether you send it out or take care of it yourself. The emotion and everything else is going to deteriorate. And at some point, you won't be able to transfer them. So right. even if you're going to pay for them, come up with a budget. Uh, you know what? A lot of people have been locked in. They haven't been going out to take what you're going to spend to go out on a dinner with your your family that you haven't been doing. And we've got about another six or eight months that you're still doing that. Take that money, put it aside, and, and and send it out to have somebody fix it. But I'll tell you what, John and I are not starting a side business. <laughs> for sure. Okay, That's for sure. Because we've got things to do and people to see and places to go yeah. and all that stuff. And this takes a lot of time. But it is a labor of love. And quite frankly, I'm enjoying the process, even though it's much more difficult than I thought it would be. Yeah. Good. Art, thanks for sharing. Yeah, and uh, John, I look forward to uh, passing the torch, uh, uh, the, 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 the Wolverine. I'm, I'm looking forward to passing the Wolverine uh, over okay. to you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.